What's up everyone? This is another OSS duel. This is going to be where it's hot right now. We are looking at our bronze medal fight between Radioactive 27 and Champion 2421. That's right, the game's happening pretty quickly right here as he's discarding Game Dwarf the Dragon Destruction to draw two cards. And actually now I'm seeing a bit of a different deck from each of these people, which is going to be very fun, very interesting. Radioactive's on the bottom. He started with three cards face down. He has a 40 card deck with 15 extra. And Champion has no extra, but he has 50, he has 60 cards in his deck. Uh, that's a rarity among uh, OSS decks. But Radioactive seems to have an interesting case. He has a bit Stungray on the field. Five star monster, 1900 attack, not bad. And it cannot be destroyed in battle, by battle. So you're going to need a card effect to destroy it. But since it's also a trap card, um, cards that destroy traps also work. Uh, the card uh, the Stungray destroyed is the Electromagnetic Turtle. It's going to be handy later in the duel. Um, you can banish it to end the battle phase. And it can only happen once a duel, but 50 turns from now, that can be very effective. Alright, Stungray attacks Champion's face down monster again. What do we have? Magician of Faith. It's going to bring back Traden. It's going to be very valuable in this kind of deck. I'm not exactly sure what kind of deck this is, but we will wait and see. So far, we're just seeing a lot of light monsters. We're seeing Turtle, which means we could be seeing a lot of uh, banishing in the future. Oh, right now we see Galaxy Cyclone destroying Solemn Strike. It'll be interesting to see what face up cards Radioactive, uh, Radioactive will play. Champion will put one card face down. Will he bring out a monster? That's what I'm thinking about. The only monster we've seen so far with the radioactive is his Abyss Stungray's trap monster. Well, are there more trap monsters? Are there more normal monsters? We'll just have to wait and see. As of right now, Stungray is pretty much unbeatable for right now. Oh, and we see Zora the Spirit activated as well. And we see Radioactive summon his first real monster, Breaker the Magical Warrior. He's going to take off a spell counter, and he's going to destroy his face down. Revealed to be Recurring Nightmare. Looks like it was just a bluff, but it was good enough to remove this, the spell counter. Breaker attacks the face down. What could it be? And we see Mass Dragon. What, what's he going to bring out? Because he can special summon now one dragon type monster with 1500 or attack points or less. Uh, there's a lot of good strategies to go with fast dragon, but we'll see what he decides to play. Oh wow, I did not think of this. That's that's interesting. It he decided to bring out Gandor X, the Dragon of Destruction. When this card is summoned or normal summoned from your hand. You can destroy as many other monsters on the field as possible. If you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the highest original attack on the field. Oh, hey, Andy's using Magnetic Turtle here. Looks like it's important for him to have Gandor X, the Dragon of Destruction. And we're seeing some uh, Stungray being placed in defense mode here. But Champion has to be careful because Gintor X Dragon of Destruction will have your life points at the end of the turn. So let's see what he does. Alright, Galaxy Cyclone is activated. It is targeting Stungray. And it is gone. What are we going to see? What are, are we going to see right now? Uh, I'm just and I'm just excited for this battle because not only is this the duel for the bronze medal, but it's a duel between knights. Uh, champion lost to Welsar, and radio and uh, I won against Radioactive in my duel. But the only thing we're seeing now, okay, we're seeing a turn summon, a uh, trap summon from Tiki Curse, and we're seeing a Raigeki happen, and that's going to clear out Champion's field of his Gandor X and his mysterious face down monster and that turns out to be Penguin Soldier. Battle phase is going on 
So the Zoma the Spirit will direct attack. So what's going to happen? Zoma the Spirit. Well, he recently tried to attack after a Rakeki. And oh, Return of the Front Lines seems to be frozen. But what would he what what would he have brought back? Either it would be a mess. Yeah, I would say we're gonna restart the game. Let's see what uh let's see what else we're gonna give to the table. Alright, we're gonna go with game one one more time. Alright. Radioactive is starting with four cards face down and card 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 D. And he's gonna end his turn with two cards in his hand. Uh, champion will, will go next. Champion, as we talked about earlier, is using a 60 card deck, which means there must be a lot of milling out in the deck, but I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Alright, and Radioactive is activating Statue of Anguish Pattern, and he's going to summon the card in defense mode. Makes sense, because he has 2,500 defense points. Just, it's a very solid monster. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a statue for the traps. Now Radioactive ended his turn, and now he's going to bring out Abyss Stungray, and that's going to destroy one of Champion's monsters. And it appears to be Marshmarkon. Which means he's going to be able to bring out two more. Statue Pattern can be a very difficult monster to destroy. Radioactive Stern. Three cards in his hand. Two, uh, two face down spelling traps and two face up speller traps. Alright, and Stungray will attack one of the Marshmacons. And it looks like he's going to, he's going, he's not going to use this effect to bring it back, but he's going to end his turn. Champion draws. What will Champion do? If I'm if I'm looking ahead and I'm seeing Radioactive's plan, it is not going to become easy for Champion. So he has to plan quickly. Champion's turn. He's going to set one face down. He's going to activate Monster Reincarnation. Let's see what card he's discarding. He's discarding Gandor the Dragon of Destruction, and he's going to bring back a Marshmacon. Um, good way to bring uh, Gandora to the grave. I can see that. And we see another statue activate. Which means both are going to activate. And we see Cray Nightmare go to the grave. And oh, we see, uh, right? We see a two card tribute for Kandora Giga Rays, the Dragon of Destruction. And because there's no banished cards, he is going to. Oh! Cyber Shadow Gardna is activated. 
and because of statue anguish, he's going to destroy Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. Uh, that's not good. This is not good for Champion, but... Oh, snap! Recurring Nightmare. Recurring Nightmare is a spell card that selects two dark monsters with zero defense points in your graveyard and return them to the hand. So here's possibly another chance at redemption. Or at least a way to defend himself. Nope, he's going to send both of those cards back. Oh, snap, for another Gandora. He's going to half his life points. He's going to send all his cards to the grave. No, it's going to banish them. This is going to be really interesting. 1500 attack, he's direct attacking. <laughs> and radioactive is down to 6500. A uh, small price to pay. He he did bet half his life points. Alright, take a Sumi. Just flipped he just flipped down Gandora and he's going to attack. And that is the end of him. Takasumi is essentially a spirit version of the Book of Moon. Uh, when this card is sum normal summit or flip face up, flip one face up monster on the field into face down position. Not fun. Radioactive has two face downs, and Champion summons Vast Dragon. And he's going to do direct attack. But not before Metal Reflex Slime takes the field. Uh, Metal Reflex Slime as a effect monster is a level 10 Aqua Monster with 3,000 defense points. Very handy in terms of de in terms of defense. Not many things can beat it through sheer battle power alone. It's almost as invincible as Abyss Stungray, in my opinion. Radioactive puts another face down. He's going to end his turn. Champion will draw. Champion is going to put a card face down, and he's going to leave Mass Dragon in attack mode. Strange theory, but Zone of the Spir Spirit is special summoned. Radioactive, Radioactive 27. He's going to bring out his level four Spirit monster again. You can see the description right to the left, and he's going to. Okay, I haven't really seen that before. He flipped his own trap monster face down, and it returned to the main phase. I uh, return to the spell and trap zone. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so the spirit attacks the face down. It is electromagnetic turtle. Interesting. And uh, Tuxiomi is brought back to the hand, but not after a card of demise takes out a second uh, Tuxiomi. Champion activates Pod Duality, and he's going to bring out three cards. Let's see, there's Galaxy Cyclone, Monster Reincarnation, and Old Vindictive Magician. All very good choices. Let's see what he goes with. The only limit with Pod Duality is that you can't special summon, and that limits a lot of flow. But not only that, you can only activate one Pod Duality a turn. So he can't just rapidly gain cards by using Pod Duality. Only, f only a few draw cards are like that, but Pod Duality is the only one I can think of right now. Um, Ch Champion is just, I suppose, debating. You don't really see it here on Nexus, but every player has about 240 seconds to do all their moves. Right? Good point. And looks like he chose to ga have Galaxy Cyclone added to his hand. question is, is he going to use it? And he does. What spell trap is going to activate it on? Tiki Curse. Hmm. Well, I guess better activating to see what's what's known what's not known. 
Metaroflex Slime is brought back to the field. It has been reactivated. So I guess in a combination with the uh, English statue uh, to Insuki and any trap monster, you could see a lot of cards being destroyed fairly quickly. Oh, and Solemn Warning is used on Mass Dragon. That's going to bring Radioactive down to 4,500 life points. At right near champions, only 900 life point differential. And right now, Radioactive can't move past uh, champions, Electromagnetic Turtle. So what's going to happen? Um, so far, both of them seem to be in a similar place. Uh, Radioactive has more control of the field, but um, but Champion has more of a graveyard. So you're going to pick and choose what's going to happen there. Alright, Galaxy Cyclone is activated. It's going to destroy Zoma the Spirit. Zoma the Spirit is uh, when it's face up on the field, it is a effect mo it is a zombie type monster with 1800 attack points, and it, if it is destroyed by battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. So it's essentially it's uh, if you only can only destroy it by battle, it's a free certain amount of life points given to your opponent. And, and the spirit monster returns a uh, metal reflect slime face down and break of the magical warrior has been discarded thanks to card of, cards of demise is it card of demise or it's cards yep card of demise oh. much of magnetic turtle is still in the field even even with 1800 attack points it's just a solid defense monster and it's useful even outside the graveyard. Yes, that's why I said Cardiff Demise. Champion act champion places one card face down. And I suppose that's his turn right now. For forty five cards, I haven't been able to see a really strong engine in this deck. Uh, with the exception of Pod Audi and a few other spell cards, but not many. Uh, champion uh, Radioactive act, uh, summons out Metal Flex Line during his opponent's main phase one, and we'll see what happens from here. Radioactive draws. He has five traps on the f he has five spell traps on the field, and two cards in his hand. He's definitely the dominating this part of the field, but Champion is not going to give up so easily. Oh, we're seeing Heavy Dust Storm. Nope, Return of the Front Lines. It looks like we're going to see another big play. Alright, Champion. It's his, his turn. It's all in his ballpark. Gandora Giga Race is going to sacrifice 1800 attack points, but Radioactive saw that coming. Solemn Strike. Down to down to three thousand. Champion's down to eighteen hundred. So close. Thought ah, maybe he had a good play. You well, know, the play was good, but the counter was better. Champion puts down one face down. Now what's Radioactive going to do? He's very good at keeping this defense, but how long can he keep it up? Five spell and traps on the field. Four, actually more, four spell and traps and a, a trap monster. Champion draws. Turtle and defense mode on the field. One card face down. Hmm. 
and the end phase happens again. And we have another monster coming to the field. This is Zoma the Spirit. Alright, do you see the spirit shift into attack mode? And will we see a possible attack? Nope, we hit the end phase. Champion draws. Champion has 18,000 life points left, while radioactive has 3,000. Bane phase one time. Let's see if Champion will make some change. A lot can happen in this, in this duel, I will tell you that for sure. But time is not a factor here. Both players can just calmly move until they both run out of cards. Which, luckily for Champion, Radioactive it has to worry about. Uh, Champion activates Traden. And strangely enough, he's he's discarding Blackluster Soldier. That's a very strange card to add. Well, not to add, but to discard. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Trade in. Hopefully, instead of BS, those two cards are worth it. Now, three cards in Champion's hand. One face down to our trap. An electromagnetic turtle. Okay, champion places down monster reincarnation. He'll have to discard a card to get a monster back. And looks like he discarded Curry Bandit. What card is he gonna bring back? Oh, I see. We're seeing another Gandor, the Dragon of Destruction, come back. But will we? Will he have enough power? Oh, wow, he sent Chaos Sorcerer and the Turtle to bring out Gandora. And we see another Solemn Strike. Sending Gandora, Z the Dragon of Destruction, to the graveyard. And Radioactive is down to 1500. While Champion is at 1800. But this looks like this duel might be over. Will it be over? The Calculator? Tiki Doll and the Anguish Pattern. Will they make it hot, hell or high water? We'll have to wait and see. Radioactive is on the verge of winning game one. Champion is at 1800, but Radioactive is actually at, at less life points. Takasumi. Brings Metal Reflex Line back. Looks like he's preparing that strategy. And Takayomi will attack. It has been a long duel, but Electromagnetic Turtle will stop that damage. Radio puts a card face down, and that is a defense mode switch on Zoban Spirit and the end phase, which Takayomi is returned to the hand. Champion, 4 2 2 1. 2421, he will draw. Oh wow. Twin Twisters activated. Some of the spirit and a face down is activated on the field. Snap they would destroy Zoma the Spirit and the Statue of Anguish Pattern. The particular card that Champion used up for Paw Duality. So what's going to happen now? Well, it's the Verge again. And Tsukiyomi attacks one more time. And Mobile Flex Slime is brought back to the Spell and Trap Zone. And here is a direct attack. 
something we have not seen in quite a while. Tsukiyomi, and is correct, it is able to take down Champion's life points down to 700. We might be seeing the beginning of the end here. We'll see what happens in phase time. Alright, Champion draws his one card. He has no cards on the field, and he had no cards in his hand. Now he's at one. We'll see what he... We will see what he does. And he's going to set a card face down. And it is chained to Abyss Stungray. Attack mode 1900, 5 stars, can be destroyed by battle. A light attribute. Can't really go wrong with that. Better Reflex Slime. And now the drop phase. Huh. And Tsukiyomi uses now his time on Abyss Stungray. And now he's going to direct attack. Will Champion have a card to negate it? He has returned to the front lines. And here's a really smart pick. Marsh Macaroon. The attack on Marsh Macaroon will bring out two more lovable pink pieces of gum. And that that itself is gonna bring out two more Marsh Macaroons. And here's Regeki just to get rid of the whole Marsh Macon threat. Main phase two time, we have five spell and traps on the field, and Tsukiyomi, which has to return to the hand. Champion draws. Hmm. Will the end be near? Is there another anguish statue waiting in his face down area? We will just have to wait and find out. But Champion, 20 cards in his grave, 2 banished, 1 in his hand, 37 in his deck. What is he going to do? Alright. Summons Curry Bandit. And, yep, he's going to use his ability. Clearing the card. Let's see his, all his cards. A Curry Bandit, a Pangolin Soldier, a Vast Dragon. A Raigeki and Exploder Dragon. And Regeki is added to his hand. Alright. This Stungray returns to the field. And of his Stungray direct attacks. The first game goes to Radioactive 27. Oh, this this has been a very long. It's been a very long game. But next turn is going. Next one will be just as long, and third game will be just as long as that. We'll be right back for more coverage right after this. And game two is back on, baby. We're starting now with Radioactive on the bottom, Champion on top. Champion's using 60 card deck, 40 card deck for Radioactive, and he just used card card D to have two to add two cards to his hand. And all of what's protecting him and Champion from Monchon's life points is one face down, but anything we learn from game one is anything can be used against you in a court of battle. And Radioactive simply brings out a Marsh Macaroon and direct attacking. 7800 not even threading the activation of any cards. Radioactive draws. Upstart Goblin is even giving Champion the 1000 life points he knows he needs. Hot Duality, Summon the Spirit, Solemn Strike, and Abyss Stungray. 
and he's going to choose a Vistung Ray. And Radioactive is going to put his whole crew car fa cards face down. For card, uh, for face downs, he's going to use card card D. And now he's going to have four cards in his hand. All right, Champion's turn. Nine thousand life points. An Exploder Dragon. Interesting choice. And the battle phase will march on. And here is the right idea. Exploder Dragon is attacking a bit Stungray. Oh snap! Imperial Custom. That is a very bad card to be paired with. And Marsh Macaroon is just blindly in attack mode, now defense mode. Though he did not take any damage from Vistung Ray because of its ability. Anything can happen. So let's see what's going on in between them. Radioactive 27, 7800, Champion 9000. Alright. Looks like he's going to get rid of that Marsh uh, Macaroon once and for all. Take a Sumi, place Marsh Rakan in defense mode, and now he was able to attack. And since he has three monsters, He's able to destroy the three that are generated and no more Marsh Macaroon. He puts down two more mash, Marsh Macaroons in defense mode and they are easily cleared out. Alright, main phase two time. Anything else being added? Yes, one more card face down to fill out third trap row. Since if you noticed here, there's red. That means you can't move, that means you can't summon your card in there. Makes sense, right? Of course it does. Makes perfect sense. Uh, champion's turn. He's still at nine thousand. So what's going to happen next? I'm not sure, but I can tell it. it is going to be about as exciting as it is right now. He's going to summon Mass Dragon. He's going to go into the battle phase. He's going to attack Kiki Doll. Alright, and now we're going to go into our next part of the duel, waiting it out. <laughs> Again, door kick arrays of destruction is being added on, 4300 life points are removed in order to banish. A huge revolution is over. It's a trap, it's a trap counter that is perfect for Gandora. Alright, we see a banish of Chaos Sorcerer and Marsh Macaroon to bring out BLS. And at least with his banishing powers, he will be able to not destroy, but he will be able to be banished. Very good secret to have. And Solemn Strike takes out Blacklister Soldier. And now the main phase one continues.
and the main phase happens. Alright, champion is down 600 life points, this might be the end, but one, but we still have two more face downs he has to worry about. Card of Demise, that could be potentially three. Alright, and he's playing the card, the grass that looks greener. Alright. Alright, champion seems to have a little bit of a block going on, or at least a bluff. We'll have to see what happens next. Next time on OSSZ. Any discards callous because of card of demise. But Takasumi is used to return blue metal, um, the metal reflects line. And Champion is back to business. And Jaws the Cyclone is brought out of proportion. And looks like it's going to destroy Imperial Custom. Let's hope he has a spare at this time. And Champion's also going to flip Raikeki. Alright. And that was a good way to click field. Radioactive, 63 life points. Champion 600. I tell you, the game is not over until the last card is played. Abyss Stungray rises into attack position. Will he be ready to attack the face down? Well, he will just have to be at this point. Attacked, and yes, we, that is Old Vindictive Magician. A man eater bug of sorts, except it only targets your opponent. And we see Solemn Strike happen. And we... Uh, nope. One card fa one monster face down, and one spell and trap face down. I'm trying to think of the monster. What could it be? Champion is going to, into a standby phase, and normal main phase, so we will find out. Dark Hole, smart. We will see what happens now. A second Imperial Custom. Not too much being annoying, but we'll find out. Alright, we see two Candoras being brought back to the hand. And Traden is being flipped. One, one Gandora is being traded for potential two cards. Alright Champion, well, if you're going to do something now, it might be a good time to really do it. <laughs> uh, champion, 600 life points. He's been at 600 for quite some time. 
And now he sent a monster face down. And radioactive has the turn. And here is Breaker, so we might see the end of the duel right now. Place one spell counter on Breaker. And it looks like he is going to use his ability to take out that back row. And he's going to activate his trap. Return to the front lines. And that's going to bring out back another monster in defense mode. He's going to choose, whoa, 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 when did this happen? Oh, Black Lizard Soldier on the way to the beginning is back. I thought that negate was. I thought the negate was unsp unsummoned. Well, I guess I could be wrong. And br and radioactive loses 200. For electromagnetic warrior. This is not good. For radio. And champion will take his turn. But the bright side about Envoy beginning is it can either attack monsters twice or it can banish any monster. So we will see what he chooses because he can't destroy Stungray. It looks like he's going to choose to banish and Stungray is out of here. So what is he going to choose to do now? Alright, what is going to happen? And it is the end phase, radioactive stern. Until we can find a way around Blockbuster Soldier, there's not many ways you can beat it. But what I guess what you could do is put your breaker in defense mode. And set one card face down and card of demise. Drawing three cards back. Sorry, drawing until you have three cards in your hand. You set two and the end his turn. He is going to get rid of his card card D. Which might have been nice. Hey. Alright, and looks like radioactive's plans are being replaced in the motion. Statue of Burial Anguish is on the field. Alright, and done like a done deal. Blockbuster Soldier is out. Monster Reincarnation. He's going to turn away Ovid into Magician, and he's going to bring back. What card? And so anything can happen right now. Do 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 I'm gonna speed up this animation a little bit. But I'm not sure what's going on. Yep, and Blackbuster Soldier is back. And we see ban we see a curry bandit and Marsh Macaroon banished again. But radioactive is on top of it. Cyber, Cyber Shield Gardna, and Statue of Anguish Pattern is going to be teaming up and destroying Blackbuster Soldier again. So what? To what's going to happen? We don't know. Empty field. Empty field. And the breakers flip back up, 
and this may be game, ladies and gentlemen. Tugasumi comes out, puts back one of the damaged anguish, and we may have game right here. And the we do. The winner is Radioactive27. He was able to win two games, and we have our bro we have our bronze medal winner. <laughs> the bronze medal. Fantastic. Radioactive 27, congratulations. It has been a very long OSS championship, and it just got a little bit shorter. Thanks again for listening, and I hope to see you all soon. Peace.